we're going to be in fourth or even fifth gear before turn one. The start straight, the start line's right back there under that bridge. So you've got all this way to make up progress. Pole position's on the left, so that'll give you a nice run straight down to turn one. We're going to arrive at turn one in fourth or fifth gear, depending on your bike, you know, super sport bike, gearing, whatever, but on my sort of bike, it's fourth gear. Now on a flying lap, we're going to be in sixth gear, tapped out right to this 300 board marker. At the 300 board marker, it's the first thing in my visual sight that pops out, so it's a reference point. Also another reference point here in Barcelona is the pit exit, this line. This line comes right down and comes out to a V-shape before the curb starts on the left. So between this 300 board and the curb, I've got about 75 meters to understand exactly where I'm gonna break. The break point is on this curb, so if you just swing around right now, you'll see the curb jutting out. This white, this white triangle, if you like, before the sort of piano effect, this is my reference to break for turn one. Right on the first lap of the race, you know if you're coming down here in sixth gear, well over 300 kilometers an hour, on the first lap of the race, you're not gonna reach that speed, so you've got a little bit more margin. So, the first lap of the race, I'm very aware, very alert of where my rivals are. Not just rivals, anybody on the track. If you're in front, you wanna break as deep as you can, and that depth perception to turn one is gonna give you a reference. If not, if you're not in the front, you can use your rivals as a gauge. But you gotta trust your rivals and make sure they're not a complete bonehead, because if they're gonna go long in turn one and you try and outbreak them, you're gonna go long too. So at this point, we are deep into our braking zone. First lap or during the race, things change, because in the first lap, we're not gonna have a huge slipstream because we're not going so fast. During the race, the biggest takeaway I can give you is always give tolerance to having a slipstream. In that slipstream behind another rider, you're gonna get sucked along. So remember, we are arriving here super fast. 310 kilometers an hour on my superbike, that is 192 miles per hour. Here we are, we've arrived in turn one. We've got all our braking done and we've gone the whole way back to second gear. It's important to reach the apex in this corner because it opens up into a left, right, and you're building speed the whole way. After this left, we're gonna short shift to third and carry that speed the whole way around the right, right hander. This right corner, what you're gonna see during the practice is there's lots of people going long. So we've got an access road here that you can afford to just overcook it a little bit. So experiment with that when you're out there doesn't matter so much if you overcook it, but remember, the three takeaway points I wanna give you here in Barcelona is your reference point on the brakes. That's so, so important, because remember, we're bu building speed the whole way from the last corner of third gear all the way up to sixth gear. Find that reference point. Secondly, be aware in a slipstream. Be aware of your brake point. And thirdly, we have to set up this exit because you're building speed the whole way from here to turn four.